So, you want to get verified on Instagram? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the exact process that I use in order to get verified. I'm going to give you four tips in order to increase your chances of getting verified. And I'm also going to warn you about something that is really important that you need to not do in order to save so much money and not get scammed. A massive misconception about getting verified on Instagram is that you need to have hundreds of thousands of followers in order to get that blue tick, but that just isn't true. I mean, here are some examples of people who have their blue tick, but don't even have 10,000 followers. So it is not about your number of followers, but instead there are four different things that Instagram take into account when it comes to verifying your page. But before I get into that, I want to show you exactly how I got verified. So make sure to hit that thumbs up because the information that I'm about to share with you is gold. I finally got verified on Instagram and here's how I did it. So there are three lines in the top right hand corner when you go on your profile. Click them and then at the bottom it says settings. Hit settings and after that you can scroll down a bit and literally just underneath where it says language you can press request verification. After that it's going to ask you to type in a few things like your name and then it's going to ask you to upload a photo of your ID. So I literally just wrote my username, my full name, what I was known as, a category from my account, so the one that I picked was influencer and then after that you just take a photo of your ID hit choose file and then send it in and it's as simple as that but of course there are a few catches it's not just as simple as that because if i'd have tried to do this three years ago before i produced any decent content before i had any sort of seo before i'd ever been featured by the media then i would have got declined <laughs> never pay anybody to verify your account i literally have had dozens actually hundreds of people contact me telling me that if i pay them money they will get me verified on instagram even some people that i've met at events who seem like legit figures within the world of entrepreneurship have literally turned around and said to me lauren you need your verification badge if you give me two thousand dollars some people even try and charge more money than that then they say that they'll be able to get you verified. It is not true. I actually have a contact at Instagram and I asked her about this before I was ever even verified because I wanted to see what she said to see if it was actually legit because if it was, then I was like, well, maybe if someone's gonna do me a good price, I could do it. But she told me, no, that's just fundamentally incorrect. So do not do that. If someone is getting you to pay them, then they probably have a contact who works at Instagram who is violating their contract for their job. <laughs> so before I started filming this video, I decided to do a bit of research for you to figure out exactly how to maximize your chance of getting verified. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on the bell so that you get notifications when new videos come out because I'm uploading frequently making sure that I can add so much value to you so that your content can be high enough quality and so that you can build your personal brand to the level where you can actually get verified and turn your personal brand into your full-time business because that's what I'm really passionate about helping people do so here's the research I did so first of all I wanted to find out what actually does a verified badge actually mean so Got my trusty notes in front of me, let me get them now. So according to Instagram, a verified badge is a check that appears next to an Instagram account's name in search and on the profile. It means Instagram has confirmed that an account is the authentic presence of the public figure, celebrity, or global brand that it represents. So in doing further research, I found out that per person, you can only have one verified account. So let's just say Justin Bieber had a personal profile. Well, he couldn't have his personal profile verified if his normal public one was verified too because he's already submitted his ID to the well he probably has unless we because it's friggin Justin Bieber but let's just pretend okay because he's already submitted his ID to show that this account is his official account and then any other accounts are maybe not official accounts okay so maybe for a celebrity or something it's a little bit different okay here's a better example I have two other pages I have a travel page and I have a fitness page honestly I really don't use both of them but if I was to try and get my travel and my fitness pages verified, I couldn't get them verified 
guys because I've already uploaded my ID with my main account which is just at Lauren Tickner which if you're not following already you totally should be so I found that kind of interesting now I don't think it matters whether you have a business profile or just a regular profile on Instagram to get verified but if you're trying to get your business verified I don't mean here a personal page or a business page I mean like your actual business let's just pretend I was trying to get impact school verified well I would actually need to have that as a registered business so right now my business is Lauren Techno Limited it I don't have impact school limited so that couldn't get a verified badge on Instagram because it's not a registered business so again that's something to bear in mind if you're someone who has a personal brand based business but you also have a business business <laughs> then you could probably get that verified on Instagram as well so according to Instagram and my research there are apparently four different things that they take into consideration when it comes to choosing whether they're going to verify an account or not. So first of all, is, is this person or is this business entity the authentic one or the authentic thing, right? So the website says your account must represent a real person, registered business or entity. It's simple. If it's a bot, it's not going to it's not gonna get the blue tick. <laughs> Secondly, it has to be unique. So I already touched upon this in the past, but the website says your account must be the unique presence of the personas. Personas. Your account must be the unique presence of the person or business it represents. Only one account per person or business may be verified with exceptions for language specific accounts. So let's just say I had Lauren Tickner and I also had Lauren Tickner. I would have like a Spanish account or something, then I guess that one would get verified too. They also say we don't verify general interest accounts. For example, at puppy memes. That was the example that they gave. So that was a nice little bit of free promo for that puppy meme account. We all love puppies though anyway, don't we? So I'm not complaining. Next up, they say your account must be public and it must be complete. So you need to have a profile picture, you need to have your bio filled out, and you need to have at least one post. And finally, Instagram says your profile cannot contain add me links to other social media accounts. So I'm guessing what they mean by that is a link to your YouTube in your bio or follow me on Twitter and then put your Twitter handle. They obviously want to keep you on Instagram, so I guess that's a valid reason. Whether it's a valid reason to not verify you, I don't know, but I guess that's what they're saying, so you've got to stick by the rules. So if you have that right now, get that out of your bio and then you'll increase your chance of getting verified. And then the fourth and final thing that Instagram say when it comes to how they decide whether they're going to verify someone or not is whether you're a notable figure or not. Well, obviously notable, I'm just kidding, but it's kind of interesting. I mean, it says your account must represent a well-known, highly searched for person, brand or entity. And then finally, they say we review all accounts that are featured in multiple news sources and we don't consider paid or promotional content as sources sources for review. So I found that kind of interesting and they also then say if you provide any false or misleading information we'll take away your blue badge and we will take all action required to delete your account. So that was crazy. I mean, that was interesting. Instagram getting a little bit harsh there. So I guess I'm really interested to see how this verification badge actually changes things for me. I've already noticed that people are giving me more legitimate comments and so many people are replying saying, oh my gosh, your blue tick is so cool and all this. And I think that it's, it's amazing because when I now comment on someone's post like Gary V or Ed Milet, they're more likely to actually see me pop up because I have a blue tick next to my name when I make that comment. So it makes me stand out. And I have indeed noticed that more well-respected and well-known people have actually started DMing me. And also now when I DM someone inviting them to come on my podcast Impact School, I literally get a reply super fast. So I'm very, very interested to see how this affects my performance on Instagram, how it affects the performance of my ads and how it helps me when it comes to building my personal brand. So if you'd be interested in me updating you in maybe two or three months to come, make sure to drop a comment below to let me know. And if you do want more information on how to build a solid, incredible personal brand so that when you do submit to get your verification badge, then make sure that you are just watching my YouTube videos, listening to my podcast and reading my Instagram captions because I always write information about this. But the most important thing is like 
add value to your target audience every single day. Post good content, make sure that the content is helping change people's lives. Try to get featured by the media, so pitch a few publications that are related to your niche. Collaborate with other people who are in your niche and just constantly try to make it clear that you are adding value because if you're adding value that instagram is going to want you to stay on there because you're making their customers happy right and if you're making their customers happy and if you keep them coming back for more then that means that they're going to be on the platform for longer which means that there's more chance of them getting advertised to which means that when people like me are buying instagram ads then it's just generating more money for them. So now you understand how to get verified on Instagram, you understand what is gonna maximize your chances of getting verified, and you also understand the thing that you need to avoid because you don't wanna be paying money with literally like no chance of it even paying off. So honestly, just focus on building your personal brand, putting out good quality content, and as time goes on, there is no reason why you cannot get verified. You just have to make sure that you're adding value to people, and as you do that, add value to your specific niche, then you're gonna become an authority figure within that space, which means that Instagram will verify you because you become notable. So make sure that you have the three first points in check, and then the fourth one is something that will happen as time goes on. So make sure that you're putting yourself out there, you're putting in the work, and you will be able to get verified on Instagram. And if you have anyone who would be interested in this information, please make sure to share this video with them. And I'm considering perhaps doing some more like Q and A's or stuff like that. So just let me know what you want to see next. And I'm super excited that I'm verified and it's going to be interesting to see how it changes things for me. So have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I'm just going to ask you one more time, hit that subscribe and turn on that bell so that you get notifications and never miss a video.